In this example, we want to factor 81a squared minus 1 by using our difference of squares. As we can see, our first term and our second term are both perfect squares, and we're subtracting the two terms. So therefore, we can apply our difference of squares. Our first step is to draw two different brackets. The first term in both of our brackets is going to be the square root of 81a squared. The square root of 81a squared is 9a. So we'll write that in both brackets. Next, we're going to want to add one bracket and then subtract the other. And then our second term is going to be the square root of our second term in our original question. Well, the square root of 1 is just 1. So we'll add 1 and then we'll subtract 1. So our final answer is 9a plus 1 multiplied by 9a minus 1. But again, you always want to check your answer. So let's use our distribution rules and multiply this 9a by our second bracket and then this 1 by our second bracket. 9a times 9a is 81a squared. 9a times negative 1 is negative 9a. And then positive 1 times 9a is positive 9a. And positive 1 times negative 1 gives us negative 1. When we group together these like terms, the negative a and the positive a cancel out, and we're just left with 81a squared minus 1. This matches our original question, so therefore our factors of 9a plus 1 multiplied by 9a minus 1 was correct.